So welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. It is quarter to six in the morning. I've got my coffee in my hand. I've had two hours sleep. I feel like absolute death. Sore throat, bunged up nose, headache. I am absolutely shattered, but I didn't want to let you guys down. Hence why I'm still here. So bear with me because I'm going to struggle through this for the next 10 or 11 minutes or so. But the first person we're going to talk about today is Granit Xhaka. Um, he has been linked with a move to Inter Milan. Antonio Conte, the former Chelsea manager, record-breaking Chelsea manager, the Chelsea manager we beat in the cup final in 2017, has said that he wants to sign Granit Xhaka as his first signing. Um, he also wants Alexis Sanchez. And um, he wants a couple of other players as well that are out there. I don't get why he wants Granit Xhaka. I genuinely do not get it. Um, I don't see what the uh, the rage is all about. He has been an absolute liability since we signed him. Um, literally, error after error after error. Um, goals conceded. He doesn't track runners. He's so one-footed. It is unbelievable. Every time he shoots towards the north bank, I duck because the ball's coming straight at me. Um, but people seem to rate him. I don't get why. But yeah, apparently Antonio Conte wants to make him his first sign-in for Inter Milan. Now, if that is true, I will pay for his airfare. If he needs a travel partner, I will pay for Mustafi's airfare too. Because, listen, at the end of the day, we pay £35 million for Granite Xhaka. We're paying him nearly hundred grand a week. He is not worth half of that. People say to me, oh, if you don't see what Granite Xhaka does, you don't understand football. Well, maybe I do, and that's why I don't rate him, because he has been absolutely rubbish since he's been at Arsenal. The odd shot here and there that goes flying in the top corner, like Palace, Newcastle, um, Man United. But other than that, he doesn't track runners. Um, he's got no awareness. He doesn't sense danger. He's got the odd 60-yard ball. He's got the odd screamer into the top corner. Other than that, he is shocking. Absolute liability. I want rid of him ASAP. But let me know what you guys think. Do you want to get rid of him? Um, like I said, if he wants a partner to travel with, Mustafi's available. Uh, second person we're going to talk about today, bear with me because my mouth is so dry. One second. second person we're going to talk about today is Alexander Lacazette. Now, he has posted on Instagram yesterday um, a picture from the training ground at London Colney with a couple of people, a couple of players, um, and he has actually tagged it, my garden. That's a statement of intent saying, look, at the end of the day, Atletico, Barcelona, you're all inquiring, this is my garden. I am staying firm. Um, now, Atletico are getting rid of Antoine Griezmann. He's apparently going to Barcelona. Um, and Lacazette was supposed to be joining Atletico before their transfer ban. The only reason we got him is because they were transfer banned and obviously that fell through. We signed him. But fair play to Lacazette. Obviously, all the speculation that's going around at the moment about Barcelona, they need to replace Luis Suarez. He's coming towards the end of his career. And Antoine Griezmann's leaving Atletico. So they need a striker. And listen, Atletico churn out absolute bangers of strikers year after year after year. Aguero, Torres, Falcao, etc., etc. Um, you could go on and on and on. Diego Costa's another one. Um, but listen, at the end of the day, I don't think he is going anywhere. I think we'll keep Lacazette this summer. If it was me, I'd strap him up. I'd offer him 50 grand a week more than what he's on now. Sign him up to another couple of years because I think he is an absolute baller. He won our player of the season. Um, there's a reason for that. Listen, Aubameyang scored 31 goals this season so far, but Lacazette won our player of the season. The reason he won our player of the season is because he is that link between the midfield and the attack. Even though he's the striker, he does more than a striker. He's more of a, a number 10. He links the play. He tracks back. He, he gives it everything he's got. And listen, it doesn't matter how much money comes in for him. I wouldn't sell him. He's 28 years old. He's got his best years ahead of him. Um, I think we should keep him. So 
I don't know, listen, Barcelona, if they sign Griezmann, Atletico need a striker. Um, that could drag on for quite a while, but we shall see. The last player I'm going to talk about today, if you bear with me again, is Wilfred Zaha. Now, Wilfred Zaha um, has apparently handed in a transfer request. Um, how true that is, who knows? Um, apparently, he's an Arsenal fan. Quite a few Arsenal fans out there play for Tottenham and other teams in the Premier League. So, listen, it's all about their career. Just because he's an Arsenal fan doesn't mean he's going to sign for Arsenal over Tottenham. If Tottenham offer a better deal and better first-team opportunities, he's going to Tottenham. They are linked with him as well as us. Man United are linked. I'm not sure he would ever go back there. Obviously, he's been there before. Um, I don't think it was a great idea rocking up with Imogen Thomas on his T-shirt um, when Ryan Giggs was there. But it is what it is. But... Crystal Palace have come out and said that he can go if there is an offer over £80 million. He is not worth half of that. In my opinion, I don't really rate him. His stats ain't all that. He had less assists last season than Iwobi, um, or this season because it ain't done yet, but he had less assists than Iwobi. He played double the minutes. He scored seven goals more than Iwobi, but... Like I said, he's played double the minutes and he plays as a striker, a left forward, a right forward. Um, no good defensively. When the ball's in transition from back to front, I think he's brilliant. And every time he plays against us, he turns into a prime Messi. But that's because he knows we are weak. He can get at us. He can chase the ball. He can harry Mustafi. He can pressure them. And every time he plays against us, he knows he can just go for the juggler. But... For me, £80 million, really? I would not be spending half of that on him. If he's available for 30 yeah, all day long. But listen, at the end of the day, he is not an £80 million footballer, especially when Cristiano Ronaldo signed for Juventus for £80 million. Um, especially when there's talk of Aubameyang going to Real Madrid for £74 million. What, well, is he really better than Aubameyang? No chance, not for me, but... I don't know. I know a lot of Arsenal fans rate him. Um, I think that's based off of the fact that every time he plays against us, he turns it on, he does well, he always scores, always wins a penalty. Yes, he can ghost past people, he takes people on, he's scary, he, he attracts penalties and fouls and free kicks, etc, etc. I get it. But for me, I don't think £80 million. No way. That sort of money, you can go and sort your defence out, which we badly need to do. Or we could go and buy two wingers of top quality. Lozano's got a £36 million buyout clause. Um, Riyad Mahrez might be available. Who knows? Fraser's available. Um, we could actually go and buy Lozano and Fraser for about 50, 60 million quid. Why would we go and do £80 million or more on Wilfred Zaha? When, let's be real, no disrespect to Palace, but... He is playing in a team that ain't all that and he ain't really done a great deal in terms of output. Yes, he's scored 10 goals. Yes, he's got five assists. But really, you've contributed to 15 goals this season. 15. And you've played 40-odd games this season. Nah, not for me. I would, um, I would put that money elsewhere. I would go and spread that around the defence. I would maybe go and buy two wingers. It's an Arsenal football club need two wingers. Yeah, we've got a Bamiang. He's not a winger. He's um he's played out wide this season. He's been ineffective most of the time out wide. It's unfair to play him out wide because put him in the box, he scores goals. We've seen that. He's bagged 31 goals this season. But nah, £80 million for Wilfred Zaha. Definitely not. But I don't know. Listen, I've struggled through this. Um, like I said, it's nearly six o'clock in the morning. Um, I've had about two hours kip. I'm going to damn my coffee and I'm going to try and get some uh, get some rest. My throat is it's like it's got a golf ball in it. So, listen, I'll try and reply to as many of you as I can later on today. Um, don't forget, go follow my Instagram, LeeGunner82. DM me, I will follow you back. I'm trying to get that up to 10k. Go check out part four of my season review. The last part will be out later on tonight, if my throat holds up. And... Um, Share the content around, subscribe, like and share. I'm going to bed. Love you all. 
Big up the 13 and half K that follow me. Laters, peeps.